again in my video. Boom! Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land! Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer! Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation! <laughs> our new intro oh. <laughs> please i know you're on my side on that one welcome to boring reviews boring land i'm still gonna push it there was a, like two people that agreed that's true well, i was one of them but there was at least one person <laughs> that agreed i actually think there was two people besides me that agreed to it but welcome to boring reviews we are happy to be here once again i'm happy to have her she's always so busy believe it or not and i say believe it or not because you know i'm busy too but you know She's a little more busy. She's I'm the woman. Studying. We She's do more, and... right? Yes, very much so. We're the lazy ones. So, welcome back to Boring Reviews. We have another request, Patreon request from Annie Rudd, and we are looking at another stand-up comedian. Yes. In his official request, he actually gave us three different choices, and there are three different um, comedians, which is awesome. Who are we checking out today? They all sound so good, but this one sounded fun. Indian Studying Abroad by Varun Thakur. Sounds I'm good trying to me. It. But we just thought, I love studying, and abroad, check it out. Yeah, and this one, it says, we had the, the first millisecond pause before it started, and it says stand-up specials on Amazon, so that's pretty yeah. cool. But um, we don't know anything about this comedian, but hopefully studying abroad, there are going to be some uh, American jokes in there. That would be fantastic. And without wasting any more time. Yeah, two minutes is a lot, and most people say they fast-forward to the three-minute mark, so let's catch him in the act. Don't fast-forward. Here we go. I went abroad to study filmmaking. I was in London for a year, uh, where I spent the first six months trying to get them to pronounce my name right. Because they're like, Rune, Rune, man. I'm like, dude, just call me Tom, it's okay. <laughs> and I spent the next six months trying to explain to them what a Lota is doing in my toilet. That's always an awkward conversation, right? All my white friends would come home, they're like, Rune, why is there a plastic cup in your bathroom? Why is there a plastic cup in your bathroom? <laughs> The thing is, when I pee, I get really thirsty, so I like to have a glass handy. <laughs> My first proper exposure to the British accent, I walk into school and this guy's looking at me. He looks at me he's like, hey, can you pass me the bottle of water? Yeah, can you pass me the bottle of water? <laughs> like, can you pass me the bottle of water? It's so awesome. And I'm like, ah, bottle of water. You know the student hostel I stayed at, right? Decided to have a potluck, so we all get to know each other. Now, we were all supposed to cook food from our own country. I made poha and I took it for dinner. I'm like, what the fuck these firangs do? So I, went there. I don't remember what the Chinese guy made, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't dead. Because oh. I took a serving and it started running away from me. Oh. I'm like, hey, gate ban ka, mera dinner bhaag rahe. Stop eating it then. The French girl made le oeuvre, le gazelle, gazelle, gazelle. Because that's what the French people do, right? Make you eat shit you can't pronounce. They're like, Gazileva, Gazidu, Gazileva. I'm like, hey, same to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't any better, right? I only had a plate of poha with me. And this white girl walks up. She's like, Vroon, what have you made? I don't know what poha is. <clears throat> These are flattened rice flakes with robust Indian spices mixed with sorted onions with a dash of lime, a sprinkle of coriander, and basil leaves. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I went Master Chef Andheri on it. I'm like, hey, le, poha ka. <laughs> But saying that stuff helps, right? A dash of lime. Yeah. A sprinkle of coriander. Basil leaves. <laughs> basil leaves are like the push-up bras of food. <laughs> they don't do shit, but they make your food look great. <laughs> So you know, when I, was, when I was in the UK, they launched the banner of early ceilings. So I was fucking excited. I went to all my friends, I'm like, guys, come check out. There's a ceiling in my city. There's a ceiling in my city. But no one's excited. Because my flatmates were German, American, and Chinese. Like, I've had that. We have 30,000. But I was excited. And I had to share it with someone, right? So I'm like, hey, Bangladeshi. Are you not going to kill me? Here. Here. Chappal bhaar nikal. 
The Pakistani guy got really excited. He's like, yes, silly. Very good, yaar. How many entry points are there? Five, okay, okay. You can go from the boat, from the boat, okay, okay. There is also police protection, police protection, okay, okay. And it was this girl's birthday, right? It was this girl's birthday. She's Greek, she called us all over. She's like, guys, you know what would be awesome is if all of y'all sang happy birthday to me in your own language. <laughs> Great, because the American guy's like, happy birthday to you. The Chinese guy's like, fum, fum, fum. whatever. I'm not being racist. Every country has the same tune for happy birthday. <laughs> now they're all looking at me. Oh no. And I'm just standing there like a constipated Udit and I'm going, bari, bari, din ye yae, bari, bari, din ye gaye, tum jiyo hazaro saal ye meri hai aaj. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Why couldn't we have the same tune for happy birthday? <laughs> Where is Pritam when you need him? Oh, that's funny. He's definitely very, very uh, personable is the word I'm yes. going to use. Very charming. Yes. Um, I'm not sure who that person was. Priam that he mentioned at the end. Let us know. I didn't get that yeah. reference whatsoever. There was a few things, obviously, we didn't get some of the references on, but I loved his different uh, accents that he was using. Yes. His little uh, ba wa yes. I thought that was really, really spot on. That sounded it awesome. It was. It was good. <laughs> It was so good. I kind of want to like go to college now in England, stay at a student hostel, <laughs> bring food from America. Guess what? It's gonna be microwave chicken nuggets. Oh man, seriously, <laughs> what, what, what would we bring? I mean, uh, Americanized tacos or something like that, which is Mexican food, but we Americanized it, so it tastes way different. So true. I think we've just taken all the culture's food and Americanized I mean, everything. Pizza uh, originally originated from. Italy, spaghetti, Italy, Italy. And all these things that we do. I mean, hamburgers, I guess, but I mean, what place does not have hamburgers these days? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Veggie or meat or whatever, but they still have some kind of form of hamburgers or whatever. Seriously. Let's say, because everything direct. Well, technically, I mean, unless you were Native American living in North America before all the Europeans came, we just brought their food with us. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know any of their dishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, besides maize. Yeah, I mean, I just obviously they they grew crops and whatnot, and we have that. But I'm just I'm not sure. I mean, that brings up a good question: What American dishes, recipes, do we have? I mean, there's a few things that I make that I feel are kind of like my recipe that I stole from my mom or whatever, but are kind of like our way of doing things. But they're versions of other foods from other countries. Yeah. So, um, kind of fried. Fried food. We're, we're kind of lame. <laughs> we fry up that chicken. Hey, I could bring English onion tarts. Oh, no, that's from England. <laughs> it's like, yes, the one thing I make that's actually really <laughs> yummy. In the title. <laughs> Never mind. I actually got it from a friend whose friend is from England, so they're straight up English. But, yeah, this guy this guy was awesome. He uh, he definitely had uh, the personality. And Charisma. Had a good smile and whatnot, yeah. so he, he, wraps, he brings you in right away. Definitely. Um, I'm curious where he's at when he's given this because it's interesting. He's he's speaking English, I would say, 60% of the time, and then some of the jokes was in um, whatever Indian language he speaks. Um, I would guess Hindi, but I have no idea. There's many different languages in India. But it's interesting that a lot of it's in, in English, so I wonder if he was there. I don't think he was in England or whatever, or wherever he was, but I'm curious. I would curious. assume if he, maybe he was in India. Especially if he kept going back and forth between the languages. Yeah, mm. maybe. I don't know. Maybe he was talking at like a school, like a college. It was a recording for Amazon, so maybe they were like, hey, let's get like 6% you know, <laughs> English in there. Who knows? <laughs> They're always bringing it down. But anyways, there's our reaction to Varun. Varun, Varun. <laughs> Varun. Oh, yeah, so he said everybody Kerr. called him. <laughs> and not just that, right. but there was something that he left us hanging on. He was talking about the the cup in the toilet. I have no idea what yes, that's about. Yes, what is the cup in the toilet? Please tell us. Let us know what that is. I had the same um, exact question as all his friends. Can't imagine it's a ghetto version of the bidet, but I have no idea. Let us know what that's for. Yes. Um, and, and you know, maybe it's worth a try. Who knows? But <laughs> let me see that face. But anyways, there's our reaction. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give us thumbs up. And subscribe. don't forget to. If you're not haven't done so yet, and go ahead and check out our Patreon page. Yes, give us some love, give us some support. And as always, until next time. Goodbye.